Hey everyone, this is Keith. And I'm Tiffany. And we are back with another video. Video number two. Week two. Week number two. All right, so I'm actually gonna turn it over to Tiff here in a second. She's gonna go over a few things that kind of stood out for us, uh, kind of like our favorites that we found this past week. And here we go. Okay, so first thing we have is this lovely little button-up cardigan. It's in great shape, and you can see there are these little roses. And the cool thing about this is it is actually a Pendleton piece. I don't know if you can see it that well, but anyways, um, just really like this piece. It's in great shape. Normally just come across Pendleton flannels or like a scarf. Um, so I just had to grab it. It honestly looks like it's never really been worn at all. And yeah, I just... I liked it. Uh, Pendleton stuff's amazing, by the way. Um, you know, unfortunately, wool garments tend to have moth damage, which is, you know, yes. a reason why you'll occasionally see, you know, holes on like a, a wool sweater or a wool flannel or, or something along those lines. But mm -hmm. um, I think they kind of look cool when they get repaired, too. So. Yeah, I personally like the look of a flannel that you can see someone or yourself, you know, to, somebody took the time to just fix up. I think it adds a lot of character to pieces and I don't know. It's just cool. Not only is it cool, but it's just it's just the idea of keeping the garment too, you know. Absolutely. It's, you know, going back to that whole sustainability thing, you know, just because something's tattered and worn doesn't mean it can't be repaired and no. have some more longevity, so. Exactly. Yeah. So there's no reason to get rid of a perfectly fine piece just because of a little spot that you know could use a little stitching and some people will even put like a totally different color mm -hmm. on it so you embellish the the wear on that piece um so yeah this is my first piece i decided to talk about just a different kind of pendleton huge fan of pendleton it's very warm um so yeah that's the first thing all right, moving on, I'll go ahead and pick a piece. Actually, it's two matching pieces, or two pieces that are similar. And so Tiff and I went hiking last week, and um, kind of on a whim, we decided to stop at a antique mall in town, and it was a pretty good antique mall. Like, not only did we find what I'm about the show, but we also found some cool fabric as well, almost like Hudson Bay uh, fabric. Mm -hmm. So, um, Older military stuff is incredibly hot. It's um, getting harder and harder to find for sure. Um, so I'm basically just going to show two almost identical pieces. I'm assuming probably from the same um, soldier. So we actually bought this off the guy who actually runs the antique mall. It was from his booth. Yeah, he's he told us that he's was in the military um so just spent all his years collecting old stuff yeah and actually these two pieces here are army pieces he told us and they're actually made of herringbone twill now if you're not familiar with herringbone twill it's basically just the style of fabric that was woven um you see it a lot on older coveralls workwear obviously military pieces it's incredibly durable it's a lot thicker than traditional like um just woven cotton fabric or something along those lines. So I have two HBT herringbone twill um, utility shirts. I believe, I'm gonna go ahead and count here, but on the buttons, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Five plus six is 11. This is either a 12 star or a 13 star. Maybe my math is off button. Um, which is, I believe, a way that you can actually date these, but I'm gonna take the guy's word for it. These are probably 1950s. I think he even mentioned uh, Korean War, if mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. But again, older military pieces like this are incredibly hard to find. Let me go ahead and show... Do a close-up of the Close-up of button. the button really quick on the camera. And hopefully it focuses, but... I'll just go ahead and do this top button here. If you see... There we go. And it has the same style of button everywhere on the shirt. And again, we 
Got two of these. Was incredibly stoked to find these. Again, older military stuff is getting tougher and tougher to find, so we were incredibly happy to find these two pieces. Yeah. Okay. Um, the next piece I decided to talk about is this. Can you see it? This Tommy piece. Um, look at this thing. So you have the, let's see. Well, I think on the back side it has the Tommy print. Yeah, there it okay, is. Okay, so. Here, I'll hold it up for you. It's, it's just crazy. So yeah, uh, it's like a vertical, vertical big logo of Tommy. And with the denim collar. Almost like a stars and stripes kind of inspired front side. Yeah. It reminds me of a western. Almost, yeah. But this piece was just loud and awesome. And this is like, what is this? Like, um, it's like silky. Maybe even like polyester. Yeah. yeah. So, it's and, just cool. And what's funny is I actually uh, overheard a guy at the thrift <laughs> talking about this. He's like, hey, you know, you could get big money for Tommy's stuff. And he grabbed this piece, held it up for his friend to show, and then put it back. So um, I guess when I heard the word Tommy Hilfiger, um, you know, said out aloud, I was like, oh, well, I better go check this piece out. Let's just kind of see what it lurk is. Around. Yeah. Yeah. So, definitely a, a rare Tommy Hilfiger piece for sure. Yeah, I don't really know. I didn't know what to say about it, really. It's just loud and wacky, and it's a cool piece for it sure. Speaks. Yes, for any Tommy it collector. For itself. Um, for anybody in general that's just digging this kind of stuff. So, very cool. All right, next. I'll go ahead and show another military piece. We actually got this at the local thrift, kind of like right down the street. Um, these are dress trousers, I believe, and they are dated 1955, but they're actually, it says here, in the style of 1949 pattern. So I'll go ahead and hold up the patch. Right there. And it's actually got buttons, I believe, on the inside of the waist and, and, the, fly. and yeah. the fly. What I was going to mention um, has them on the waist because I believe these are outfitted for suspenders. I could be wrong about that, but this is just a re uh, really, really cool piece. In fact, I think this would look great even if you're not trying to go for like a military vibe. Um, just to wear these as like a, you know, with a nice outfit or something like that in general. But um, again, older military stuff, love to find it. Um, this is a size 16. It says from anywhere between 6'1 to 6'2 and a 34 to 35 inch waist. Um, again, these are super cool. They feel like they are made of wool. I could be wrong about that, but I, they look like wool There's to me. no holes. And yeah, there's I mean, no damage. These are these nothing. things are mint. Um, so again, these were probably just put away for years and years. Let me hold them up again. And another cool thing is on one side of the pant leg, it actually has a pocket, almost like a cargo style pocket. Um, I don't know which branch of the military these are from. I'm not a hundred on it. Um, if I had to guess, these are maybe army, but I could be wrong again about that. But again, military stuff, older like this, super cool, digging it. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. All right, what you got? Okay, so I'm just gonna, we found a good amount of denim this week, but I just pulled a few that I thought were, I don't know, they're just neat. Um, love coming across the old Levi's with the patch. On the back, you can see here, these are super nice size. Um, there's no holes. I mean, these are in great condition. 
dark blonde. Looks like they've been hemmed at the bottom though, right? Yes. Yeah. They have been slightly hemmed. Slightly hemmed. Um, which is cool. I, no one hems their pants anymore. <laughs> so it's just cool, you know. You buy a pair of jeans, you make them so they work for you. Um, yeah, these, they're just cool. I like the patch. And... So, don't come across them very often. So the white tab of Elite were from the 80s, maybe even going into the 90s, but these are definitely some 80s jeans for sure. Um, yeah. They have like an older paper tag. Made in USA. Yep. Let's see, what kind of zippers on these things? Uh, just a YKK zipper, but it, again, these are probably like 80s, maybe like I said, very early 90s, but like she mentioned earlier, finding ones with the actual two horse patch on the backside, a little bit rarer to find, so these were cool. Yeah, I yeah. thought so too. You wanna do another pair of jeans? Yeah, let's do, let's um, do those Wranglers. the Wrangler jeans. So we have some teal Wranglers right here. Um, slim waist, they're a size seven, eight, but they kind of look like a size 26 waist. Um, you know, I personally love Wranglers. I love the patch on the back and seeing them in this color is just awesome. It's like, hey, look at my pants. So yeah, just an awesome color. They're in great condition, no spots or stains. Um, so yeah, I just kind of felt like these stood out a little bit and I wanted to talk about them. We're pretty fortunate being closer to the East Coast too. Um, Wrangler is a North Carolina brand, I believe based out of Greensboro. So those of you on the West Coast, I don't think uh, there's probably quite as many Wranglers out that way. Well, you uh, also had a lot of um, farms out this way and people that just wore Wranglers. I mean, absolutely. Yeah. They're durable, and I just love the feel of old denim. It just doesn't stretch out on you. It's, you can break it in. Um, and then let me go ahead. I'll just talk about this last pair of jeans. These we did not find this week, but they found a new home, and someone's coming to pick them up today. And I just wanted to show them really quick before they left us. Um, so many people have been eyeing these Wranglers. They are so cool because of the patches, the patches on them. Personally, the one, look at this one, you know, got to fix all the, all the holes. So we just talking about mending your own jeans or pieces of any garment. These are just super awesome. Um, so many people wish they were their size and I just love them. We actually had these on display. They're hanging on the wall. Um, so again, these were the jeans and just love them. And they're going to the right person. For they're sure. going to the right person. She works across the street. So maybe we'll see them a lot. <laughs> All right, next up, I've got a leather jacket. We actually found this one uh, in the Halloween section. And it was half off because yeah. all Halloween stuff is half off. Because they're trying to get out all the Halloween stuff uh, ASAP. So this one's pretty cool. It's not made in USA. It's actually a Belgian okay. bomber style jacket. I believe 1970s, maybe even like early 80s. but. Um, this one here, it says, made in Belgium for Kaufman's Pittsburgh, which I'm assuming is a department store. It's a size 42, so probably a large, maybe even like a medium, but um, very cool piece. Uh, kind of in the style of like a G1 bomber, but let me hold up. The zippers are... Yeah, the patch especially so cool. is pretty cool. And yeah, it's got big, fat, bulky uh, zippers on this thing. It has... Two chest zippers, two pocket zippers, um, nothing on the back side. But again, this is a very, very heavy um, leather jacket. Incredibly stoked to find this one. So those are all my favorite finds. You got one more, right? Yes, I do have one more. Uh, favorite find yesterday. Um, stumbling across super old quilts that don't have any issues and that are, you know, 
I don't know. Just awesome. Uh, found this quilt from the local thrift. There's, I mean, it's in great condition. Look at this thing. I love the colors. I just love the pattern. Here, I'll hold it up. Yeah. Hold it up. And then another thing I really like about it is actually the the backside of the print. I mean, of the quilt. It It's just this basic just sweet fabric and I don't know I just I like this it's a good one. pattern it's a great pattern and I love the blues I love the soft pinks I don't know and I think you said it'd be great as like a backdrop too right yeah so um Tiff has slowly but surely become the quilt queen so you can't <laughs> leave some of these quilts especially when you find them priced for like ten dollars and this one's probably older too right like 1960s 1970s yeah. and when you just think about the amount of time and the hours it took to put a piece like this together um you know you just want to take care of it someone spent a long time piecing together those fabrics and the pattern and quilts are they're beautiful and they're warm and they're heavy, like they're weighted, which I like. Yeah. Um, so you could do so many things with old quilts, even if there's a spot that has a stain or a hole, you know, you can use that fabric for something else. You can, you know. It's great for patches too. Like great for jeans. patches, like for yeah. denim. Like I have an old pair of denim, um, old pair of denim that I want to put quilt patches on. I'm not going to use that quilt because it's so nice, but I definitely have a little stack of tattered quilts that, um, they're just cool and you just want to give it a life somewhere else if it's not going to be the whole blanket. So we might have a quilt section coming soon here at Commonwealth. So mm -hmm. just FYI. Um, also we're going to go through the remainder of the stuff that we found this week. So stay tuned. Awesome. Thanks guys. So it's me again, and I'm here with the rack, and basically these are all the kind of like other things that we found this past week. I'm gonna go through these kind of quick. So here we go. Very first thing, um, very cool robe, almost like a Hugh Hefner vibe going on with this one. <laughs> uh, probably 1970s is my guess. Uh, didn't see much labeling on it other than the little like sizing tag here on the neck. Um, but again, cool robe, it's in great condition. Um, next up, I think I mentioned last week, uh, plain gray Heather sweat, uh, sweatshirts, they do really well, so I couldn't pass this one up. It's on an old jerseys tag, size large, um, maybe washed and worn a few times, nothing crazy, it's in excellent condition. Um, next one, got a service star, kind of like faux hooded sweatshirt thing going on here. Um, Service Star actually became True Value. I believe the company merged, and this actually was the parent company. But anyways, thought it was a really cool graphic, almost like a home improvement kind of vibe going on there for sure. Um, so yeah, next up, um, kind of local, back to our Richmond store. Got a Washington Redskins crew neck here. It's on a Nutmeg Mills um, piece. Um, it's officially licensed if you look here at the bottom right-hand corner. So it's in great condition, good size for the football fan. Um, next up, kind of local to here, uh, Virginia Tech. Um, just a nice, actually alternate colorway on this one because typically you see the maroon and the orange. So again, this is a pretty cool piece here. All right, next up, we've got a few t-shirts. So here's one here. This is, uh, it says Upper Yo uh, Expeditions, Friendsville, Maryland. I believe that's Western Maryland. But the cool thing about this shirt um, is actually the backside. So the backside, it's a whitewater rafting tee on the eighth day, God created whitewater. That one's crazy. Single stitch, um, it's on a basics tag, global. It's a size XL, really cool. All right, next up for the Jaguars fan, this is actually a neat piece because it's a Nike white tag. Um, it's pro line series, not single stitch, but again, really cool piece embroidered on the front side. All right, next up, um, it was hard for me not to set this one aside and talk a little bit more about it, but this is actually a Roanoke, Virginia graphic shirt, almost like caricature style on this thing. I think it's great. 
It's on the Tennessee River tag. It's a size XL. It's in excellent condition. So if you're interested in that one, please let us know. Ooh, NASCAR. Harry Gant. I believe he drove the Skull car. So iconic driver of the early 90s especially. This one's on a tall tex, size XL. It is single stitched. This is on a green, kind of like a forest green tee. All right, next up, super local here. Jim's Drive-In, Lewisburg, West Virginia. This still is a West Virginia institution. Um, it's one of the more iconic restaurants in town. We have not been yet, but hopefully we will soon. And it has a really cool backside print. And again, this is still in operation, still a business. Single stitched, it is on a best through the loom tag. Very cool piece. All right, next up, Chipper Jones. Got a majestic jersey, size medium. Just a little bit of wear on the front side here, but the back side's in great shape. Again, number 10, one of the best ever to play for the Braves. Definite Hall of Famer. Super cool. All right, here we got a local piece. This is a, a short sleeve warm up jersey for, I'm assuming, high school because on the back side, it's actually got Mount Hope Mustangs, which is located, I believe, right outside of Beckley and Fayetteville. I couldn't pass up on it. Had the big, big graphic of the outline of West Virginia. So, very cool piece. All right, next up, we got a Tommy Hilfiger short sleeve polo shirt here. And nothing too crazy going on, but if you look down the side, it's got stitched Tommy Hilfiger graphic. All right, next, got a long sleeve zip up Stefano Basics. This is a size women's large, made in USA. Really, really 90s piece here. All right, next up, a La Tigra windbreaker. Probably 80s, maybe an early 90s on this one. Um, very, very shiny material on this. And it is a zip-up piece. Just cool. All right, we've got a Cotton Traders sweater. Kind of Kuji inspired sweater going on here. This one's really, really heavy. Feels like it's almost five pounds. Um, this will definitely keep you warm. A lot of people are wearing these. Um, Notorious B.I.G. used to wear these way back when. So a lot of people are kind of going for that look now. All right, next up we have a track jacket. Uh, almost like Stranger Things kind of vibe going on. This one's got a little bit of wear to it, but I think in all the right places. Um, no holes or rips or stains, but again, it's got some wear to it. Um, love the right white and blue. Uh, another piece that was kind of hard not to talk a little bit more about. This is a classic L.L. Bean um, hooded windbreaker jacket. Um, it's got that old style L.L. Bean patch. This one's probably 1980s. Um, just a nice like kind of like olive green color. Um, next up, this one does not have a label, but judging by those buttons, it's probably a CPO. Um, really, really heavy flannel material. This basically could be a, a jacket all to itself. So out here in West Virginia, this would be a great addition to your wardrobe. Um, going back to Pendleton, we've got a nice Pendleton fa uh, flannel here. I believe this one has a little bit of moth damage, maybe on, yep, right on the neckline. So right there. We're going to probably take the time to throw a couple stitches in this one. It was just too nice to pass up. Size medium. All right, next up, another very like 90s piece. Erica Casuals Clothing Company. This is a women's XL. Kind of like a cropped, almost like flannel shirt jacket. So, really cool. All right, next up, we've got a L.L. Bean long sleeve. This one's not, I'm assuming not chamois cloth. Probably just a regular cotton cloth here. It's got a little bit of wear especially on the collar, like where the top button is, but nothing real crazy. I think it kind of looks cool, to be honest with you. I've um, got another L.L. Bean piece, more dressier on this one, plaid material. So this one's in excellent shape. It's a size 18, which I believe is an XL. Um, this would look great uh, with a tie, without a tie, um, just as like a, an additional layer. It's a nice, solid L.L. Bean piece. There we go, another L.L. Bean. We've got a zip-up 
fleece jacket, probably 1990s on this piece. This is one's made in USA. Um, don't know what size it is, but if we had to guess, probably like a medium. It's just a great L.L. Bean um, piece there. I've um, got an ink line dress, excellent condition, no problems really on it. Just a nice kind of subtle dress here. And last but not least, we have a another dress. It's actually kind of like a duster jacket um, inspired dress. Duster jackets, I believe, were worn by people that worked around horses, rodeos, things along those lines. So, yeah, that's basically everything on the rack from this week. All right, so I'm just gonna go over some of the denim we found this week. Um, I already talked about these two pieces. Um, so here we have an old pair of Wrangler, Wrangler jeans. These are, I have this old logo on the back and very slim waist, long legs, nice wear on the back, just a little bit of wear right here on the pocket, which personally I think is um, cool. Next up we have these Tommy shorts. Big patch logo. We've got the little thing on the side. So there you have some Tommy shorts. Next up we have just a classic pair of Lee denim. These were a good size and had some some good fading on the front piece a um, little bit of stretch to these but good size next up Harley Davidson jeans I personally um, think that this particular pair of jean is a good fit because I had a pair like these myself that I wore into the ground um, Harley Davidson patch right here these will definitely go to our Richmond store here we have a pair of dead stock made in USA light wash Levi's. Obviously nothing is wrong with them because they are brand new. They are a 551 relaxed fit tapered leg. Love the tapered leg. Here we have a pair of kids denim Lee jeans with the elastic waist. We're not sure what we're going to do with these but they're in the kids section, couldn't leave them if anything. The patch is kind of, you know, where it's at. So, you know, may, may rework these into something, keep the patch, not sure. They're just too cool for school. Here we have just a basic pair of black Land's End jeans. These just, Good, durable, quality denim right here, a size eight. They are made in Mexico, but like I said, just a really sturdy pair of denim jeans. Next up, another black pair of denim. These are Tommy with the Tommy waistband, size 36. These are cool. These are a white tab Levi's. Um, I wouldn't, these are made in USA. I'm not quite sure the date on these, probably 80s. And I really like the little, the little split at the bottom. So there you go. You have old pair white tab Levi's, great condition. Here we have super light wash pair of Lee jeans. Um, super light wash, I think it's harder to come by. So grab them, no spots or stains. Great for the spring and summer. Um, super soft. I mean, whoever had these wore them and just, yeah, just a very nice soft feel to them. Here we have a classic pair of Calvin Klein's no issues. These are made in Mexico. Still super good quality. And always try to grab the Calvins when they're on the rack. 
Um, so there you have it. That's our denim for the week. Pretty solid. So there you go. All right, so actually it's funny. One of the uh, things that we were so incredibly happy to find this past week is a Dan Ducks laundry basket. Um, it's on casters. These things go for, I think, four to $450 each. We had been looking at them. Yeah, and we were talking about getting one because obviously we have two smaller ones over here. Uh, shout out to Steel Canvas. We got those two blue ones on a really good deal. Yeah, they're awesome. Um, but we, we kind of, you can kind of tell we've kind of outgrown these. We needed something a little bit bigger. So we were contemplating buying um, some additional steel ones, but we went to an antique mall um, in, I think it was Danville, Danville, Virginia, and just kind of on a whim, I asked the guy, you know, is this laundry cart for sale? Because it had stuff in it. It had like books and whatnot in it. And he's like, everything in here is for sale. Um, so I asked them the price and the price was definitely right. So um, I, we were just incredibly excited to find this. We're gonna definitely get some good use out of it. Um, again, these things go for big, big money because again, they're great. They're incredibly uh, heavy, durable. Um, this is basically what we're gonna use to just kind of throw all of our um, finds of the week as you know, we kind of sort through it. So actually there's a few things inside of it really quick. I, we totally forgot these things. Um, we found two beautiful, beautiful coach bags at the flea this past week. Um, just really quick, these are kind of like a darker brown. Um, this one here, it's got this classic coach clasp in the front. And made in USA. I believe these are made in USA. So these are old, probably NYC coach. Kind of hard to tell, but yeah. yeah. These do really well. Um, they just look amazing. And this style here, a little bit different than the other, a little bit smaller too. Again, it has the classic. Uh, coach clasp um, and again the classic coach tab yeah so found these two coach purses the price is right again couldn't pass up on them this one's got a little bit of wear to it but again looks really cool so that's basically everything that we found this past week please stay tuned we're going to be posting weekly videos of everything we find so we'll see y'all later